Hi guys, Sonova here. I wanted to talk to you guys about something serious today, and I'm going to reference my little pink hourglass here. Now, I have used this hourglass in some videos back when I was doing life coaching for victims' family members. And the concept about this hourglass is our lives are like this hourglass. They're like the sand in this hourglass. Now, we have our past is down here. Our future is up here. And the only time that we have that we can really control is what's going right through here. So you've got your past, your future, and then you have um, what we have right here. That's now. Now is what's right in the middle. Okay. Now, every grain of sand is a moment in your life. Unfortunately, in our lives, this top part is hidden from us. We don't know how much sand we have left. Now, I have been getting a lot of haters who have been calling me stupid, who have been calling me uneducated, who have no idea what my IQ really is, uh, or they or they wouldn't dare say things like this. Um, but the, I'm getting a lot of haters because I refuse to discredit Buford Pusser. And I look at Buford and I think about this. He used his sand to fight for what he believed in. Okay. He used that sand, that moment to fight for what he believed in. He did good things. He messed up, but he was doing the best that he knew how. Okay. He was using this moments of sand to the utmost, to the fullest, but this was hidden from him just like the rest of us. Okay. There's, his future was hidden. He had plans. He wanted to achieve things. He had things he was doing. He was working with a local politician to make a difference in his life, to make a difference in his children's life, to try to make his, his community better. Okay. He thought he had more sand up here, but he died at 36. He didn't even reach 40. He had so many more plans and dreams up here in this top. Okay. But he died. 36. Okay. He had no more sand up here. It's all gone. And I refuse to waste whatever little bit I have up here at the top. I refuse to waste whatever little bit of sand I have left trying to discredit a dead guy. And if you want to spend your moments over and over again, you just let that sand drain on down in here. How many of grains of sand have you wasted trying to discredit a folk hero? A man who didn't live in the same world that you do. A man who flat out used his sand to the best that he knew how. I'm not going to waste my sand. I'm not going to waste my moments of my life. I can't do anything about this sand down here. I can't do anything about my past. I can't do anything about my future. All I can do is right now. And I'm not going to waste sand. I'm not going to waste moments trying to discredit Buford Pusser. And you can hate me all you want for it. But you're just wasting your sand. You're wasting your moments. How many years have you spent doing this? How many years have you wasted in your life trying to discredit somebody who's not here? How many years are you going to waste this? You see, I can flip this little thing over, but you can't flip over yours. I can't flip over my life. Once that sand is out up there, it's done. And when you're sitting back looking at your hourglass filled with moments, did you waste years of moments trying to discredit a dead guy? I may be right about him. I may be wrong about him. But I can tell you, I'm not going to waste no sand on it. I've written about 300 cold cases. Okay? I raise awareness for cold cases. I try to help victims' families learn how to live again after tragedy. I try to accomplish something with my sand. Okay? While you're wasting your sand, I'm doing something with mine. Okay? So it's up to you to decide, what are you going to do with yours? Now, I, I, I wrote about Buford Pusser. But he's a footnote in a chapter of a book I wrote about something else. I never claimed to be a Buford Pusser historian. I'm just saying he stood up for something he believed in. And I try to take every moment in my little day 
and do something with it. Okay? If you want to waste your sand, you go right ahead. Buford Pusser ran out of sand at 36. I don't know when my sand is going to run out. I'm 43 years old. I've had more sand than he has. You don't know when your sand's running out. So whether you're watching this video because you know who I'm talking about or who I'm not talking about, if you know Buford Pusser, you don't know Buford Pusser is irrelevant. What are you doing with your sand? Are you going to make it better? Are you going to fight for justice? Are you going to search for justice? Are you going to do something to make life better for you and those around you? Or are you going to waste your sand? So today, that's what I have for you. What are you doing with your sand? I refuse to discredit a dead guy because I feel like that's a waste of my sand. And I hate to tell you, but it's a waste of yours too.